I'm Dylan at Western Bike Works, and welcome to episode four of our new web series, What's the Fix Western Bike Works, where we take your questions and we answer them, whether they be technical questions, questions about cycling arcana, something you've always wanted to know, didn't know who to ask. We're your experts. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can submit your questions through our YouTube channel, through our Facebook page, through our Instagram, through Twitter, or via email at askus at westernbikeworks.com. Joseph O, he submitted a question through email, and he wants to know what are the differences in pedal thread standards. In particular, he has a 1978 Motobacan mountain bike and he couldn't find an appropriate pedal to fit the existing crank and he didn't want to get a new crank. So we're going to answer that question. And also, Joseph, by virtue of submitting that question, you have entered yourself into the drawing to win that $50 gift certificate. We're gonna put you in the Dennis Hopper right here. We're gonna be choosing a winner from among all the people that submitted questions. We're gonna do that our next episode, $50 gift certificate. Do another one next month. All right, so let's look at pedal standards. First of all, all bicycle pedals use both left and right hand threads depending upon what side of the bicycle. What that means, a right hand thread is your traditional righty tighty, lefty loosey. A left hand thread, you would turn it to the left or counterclockwise in order to tighten it. All left hand or non drive side pedals are left hand thread. All drive side or right hand pedals are right hand thread. Why is that the case? It was actually the Wright brothers, a couple guys you might have heard of, they used to be bicycle mechanics before they got into airplanes, and they realized that the action of the bearings on the pedal spindle on the non-drive side or the left side from the rider's perspective would cause the pedal spindle to unthread under pedaling forces. So they reverse or left hand threaded that left hand pedal so it would tighten with the action of pedaling so they didn't have to keep tightening that left hand pedal. So left hand thread on the left side, right hand thread on the right side. That's going to be really important when you're removing or installing pedals to make sure you don't strip something out or damage it. How do you tell if it's a left or a right hand thread? Really easy. If you hold up a threaded fastener, you can see that the threads have a little bit of a ramp to them. And if those threads slope up to the left, it's a left hand thread. If they slope off to the right, it's a right hand thread. So you have a little bit of a clue just by looking at the, the pedal spindle. Now let's talk about the different standards of the actual threaded portion of the spindle because there are two that are in use right now and one that is historical that we don't really see anymore. So the more common ones we see today are either 9 sixteenths with a 20 TPI or 20 threads per inch or half inch by 20 TPI. So that's a little bit smaller. Here we have a half inch on this side and a 9 16 on the other. Half inch is used for BMX bikes, kids bikes, inexpensive cruiser bikes, things like that. The larger pedal spindle, the 9 16 by 20 TPI, that's used for most higher end cranks. And now that kind of brings us to the second part of Joseph's question, which is why he hasn't been able to find a pedal to fit that old Moto Pecan. The French used to have their own pedal thread standard. It was 14 millimeters in diameter with a 1.25 millimeter thread pitch, and that's not used anymore. Once they started importing things to the United States, by and large, they switched to that 9 16 by 20 TPI. So if you have an older French bike, probably from the early 70s or before, it may have that 14 millimeter by 1.25 thread standard, in which case you won't be able to put a conventional pedal in there. Couple options. If it's an aluminum crank, you can go to a bike shop, they'll have some pedal taps where they can re-tap those cranks to accept modern 9 16 by 20 TPI threaded spindles. If it's a steel crank, you kind of are out of luck. You're going to have to get a new crank that fits the modern pedal standards. Thanks to Joseph for his question. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Submit your questions, WTFWBW, through our Twitter, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or via email. Have any questions? Give us a call or visit us at westernbikeworks.com.